welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Daisy for all my new subscribers who haven't seen her. Uh, we are doing an unhaul today. I am going to the used bookstore. Um, I am not giving these away. Uh, I, can, I don't have money to mail them to anybody. So I am going to the used bookstore today and we're going to exchange them for other books. So uh, books that I can read. So I'm going to share with you my unhaul. So Daisy, you're going to stay or you're going to leave? Well, maybe she'll stay. So, okay. So, oh, she's going to leave. <laughs> okay. So, the first book that I am going to bring to the used bookstore is a book that I read, and I only gave it three stars, um, and it is The Martian by Andy Weir. I'm not going to reread this. I thought the movie was much better than the book, um, and I only gave this three stars. So, I'm going to get rid of it and get something I can read. So, that's that one. Um, the next book is a book that I have doubles of, so um, I somehow I picked it up from the, used, um, from the library sale or something. I got Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. No, I did not read this, but this is a double and I have two copies, so I'm getting rid of one. So that's that. The next book is also a book that I have doubles of. It is uh, Shopaholic and a Sister. Um, in the last library haul, I hauled this one, and I already had this one on my shelf, so I'm getting rid of I have two copies, no need to have two, so I'm getting rid of that one. Uh, the next book I got at BookCon, and this is a book I don't think I will ever read, so I am going to get rid of it. It's a Samurai Rising, uh, The Epic Life of Minamato Yashinshun. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think I will ever read this, so I'm getting rid of it. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully the used books... It's a uh, advanced reader's copy, so I don't know if the used bookstore is going to take it. But, yeah. So, that's that. Um, and I have a double of The Princess uh, in the Spotlight by Meg Cabot. So, I had a double. So, I kept one, and this is the second one. So, I'm getting rid of that one. The next one also had a double, uh, Tell No One by uh, Harlan Coben. This is a double. I already have the other book upstairs, uh, so I have two copies, and I'm getting rid of it. I don't need two. The next book is a three-star for me. Uh, I read this one. Uh, I love the cover. It's purple, um, but I don't think I would ever read it again, uh, so I am getting rid of it. It's Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Again, a three-star, so yeah. I'm not going to read it again. I love the cover. Look how cool, pretty it is, but I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, the next book is also, I don't know if I gave this four stars or three stars, but I don't think I'm going to read it again, so I'm getting rid of, it, rid of it. The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. Kubica? So this one was pretty good. I think I like this one, So, um, but I doubt I will read it ever again. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. And this one, um, I also gave this one three stars. Um, it's the first book of the Tana French series. Um, in the woods, I'm getting rid of it. Um, I didn't like it very much. I think I gave it two or three stars, I think. Uh, but I heard that the series gets better, so I did keep the other two books. So maybe I will read them and see if I like it. So that's this. And this one is going to be no surprise. I am getting rid of this. I tried to read it th two times, and I could not get through it. It's a waste of time. I just, it's, I'm not getting anything out of it except vagoration, so I am getting rid of it. So I am getting rid of uh, this Morn by Brandon Sanderson, but not only am I getting rid of Miss Bourne, I am getting rid of the whole series, uh, The Well of Ascension and Hero of Ages, because I can't get through the first book, so why should I keep the whole series? So I am getting rid of it. Um, hopefully she'll give me credit and I will get something in either contemporary romance or thriller that I like to read. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of this. So I have to take all my bookmarks out. But I did read 137 with frustration. So, yeah, <laughs> 137 pages of waste of my time. Um, uh, I don't really care about minerals or whatever they're talking about. And I really can't tell you what it's about. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of it. So those are the books that I'm bringing to the used bookstore. We'll see. I can't even get it back in the thing. Uh, so here are the books that I'm bringing back. And I will do a video at the end to show you what I picked up. 
So hopefully she'll take all these. If she doesn't, I donate them to the library. Sorry I can't mail them to anybody. Okay, stay tuned for my um, haul. So I'm back from the used bookstore. I have a bag full of books. Um, I exchanged the ones I showed you. And I had a $25 credit. So um, I got this and I spent $20. So this is what I got. So let me show you what I got because the first couple of things is really cool. You know how I love Snoopy? Well, I found comic strips. I found the complete Peanuts collection. So I got this, book one. This is um, 1950 to 1952, which is this one. And I got this one, which is the complete Peanuts collection for 1953 to 1954. And they're hard covered books. And I got this one, um, the complete Peanuts collection, 1975 to 1976. So it's really cool. And take the thing off. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm smart. So pretty cool. The other one. My daughter's over here. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I got these. They were $5 each in the used bookstore. And you know how I love Snoopy, so I had to pick them up. So, uh, yeah, so now I have these three really nice collections from my bookshelf, so I can't wait to read these. So, uh, yeah, so 1950 to 1976. So, these are really old books, but pretty neat. So, those are the, the th first three that I got, and they're all comic books. Oh, let me show you the inside. They're comic, so the whole thing is all comics. So, this should be a fun read, so that's that. Okay, now on to the regular physical books. I got four physical books. So, uh, I was in the... Let's go here first. I went into the YA section, and I found a Harlan Coben book uh, for YA called Shelter. So, I just wanted to get it because it was YA, and um, I'm not sure if it was in the YA section by mistake, because he does write adult fiction. So, uh, yeah. So, I picked this one up and I'm like, oh, I'm, I might as well get it. So, it looks brand new. Cover and everything. So, that's the first book I got. Then, um, I, I have read almost all John Green's books. Uh, but I don't have this one. So, I picked up Will Grayson, Will Grayson. So, um, I saw this one. And I have not read this one yet. So, this is John Green and David Levithan. I have no idea what it's about, but um, I haven't read this one yet, so and I wanted to add it to my collection. So that's this one, and that's in the YA, YA section. And then I went into this fiction section, uh, adult fiction, and um, I got this My Name is Memory. My Name is Memory by Anne, Anne Brashers. Um, and this one is about, I think, memory loss. And she also write, wrote the... Uh, the Sister of the Traveling Pants series. So, um, yeah. So I figured maybe um, I would like this one. So I picked this one up. And the last book that I picked up is um, a Heather Gundenkoff, uh book. And I read her... Um, uh, I read one of her books before and I really, really liked it. Uh, I think it was called Every Breath Away or something like that. Or One Breath Away. And I really liked it, so I picked up another one of her books. I have no idea what the book's about. It's called These Things Hidden. So it looks like this. And um, it's deeply moving and exquisitely lyrical. Th this is powerful of a de debut novel. So this must be her first novel that she wrote. So we'll see if I like it or not. So that's the thing that I got. So all together, I got... There you go. Seven books. Seven books, and I returned a few. So, anyway, that's cool. It's a graphic novel, some YA, and some adults. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye.